going to discuss one problem. Find the basis, find the change of basis from S to E and vice versa also will do. So it will be in the form of a matrix. Now how to do, do this type of problem is that S to E we have to find the change of basis. Therefore E, whatever E is there, that I, that I have to express in form of linear combination okay that I'll, I'll teach you so to where from s to e whatever is there to so i can take it this one as this is nothing but what change of base this is standard basis okay it is nothing but e1 this will be e2 standard basis okay standard basis now so i'll assume that this one to be u1 and this one to be u2 now the first step is that you have to express express what whatever is there e1 and e2 that i have to express as linear combination linear combination of u1 and u2 observe here carefully what i am doing is that expressing e1 and e2 why e1 and e2 because it is a change from s to e so whatever e is there that you have to take e1 and e2 as linear combination now how to express this so ob observe carefully e1 is given as 1 comma 0 so i have to write it in the form of c1 into u1 because u1 is there in the s plus c2 into u2 okay so what is c1 c1 as it is u1 is given 1 comma 3 plus c2 into u2 is given as 1 comma 4 now is that i have to simplify this part and find out c1 as well as c2 so this will be c1 plus this one c2 comma 3c1 plus 4c2 okay i hope you got this one see the first part here also first part you have to write c1 c2 then second part you have to choose 3 c1 4 c2 okay this i have written now which will be equal to 1 comma 0 see here 1 will be equal to this part 0 will be equal to this part so 1 is equal to c1 plus c2 and 0 is equal to 3 c1 plus 4 c2 now I have to solve these two equations and find out the answer. You can just calculate in the calculator and just get the value. I will get it as C1 as 4 and C2 is equal to minus 3. Okay. C1 I got it. C2 also I got it. Now next thing I have to express E2 also as linear combination of both E U1 and U2. E2 I will take which is equal to 0 comma 1 linear combination i have to express that will be c1 into u1 plus c2 into u2 same thing but the difference is lhs will 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 be changed c1 into u1 it is 1 comma 3 plus c2 into 1 comma 4 which is equal to 0 comma 1 and it is equal to c1 plus c2 comma 3 c1 plus 3 c sorry 4 c2 therefore 0 is equal to c1 plus c2 and 1 is equal to 3 c1 plus 4 c2 so therefore c1 will be equal to minus this two equation i have to take and just solve it in order to get the value so i can how i can get the value this so therefore after solving this what you will get c1 you will get it as minus 1 and c2 you will get it as plus 1 so this so from both the cases i got c1 as well as c2 now i have to arrange it in a matrix form so always remember this when you arrange in matrix form this is the first case e1 this is the second case e2 okay first one second one so first one whatever you got c1 and c2 you have to arrange in column that is c1 i can write it as e e1 something c2 e2 sorry e1 for the e1 case i have to arrange in column next for this case also column wise second column that will be 
C1 E2 and C2 E2 okay so this becomes 4 minus 3 and minus 1 and 1 so this will be the final answer this is not multiplication this same thing okay this will be the final answer now we'll try to analyze how we can convert how we can find the change of basis from E to S so for this what I need to do this is nothing but E1 standard basis E2 this one is u1 it re it will remain as it is okay u2 u1 and u2 it now it is from e to s so whatever is there e u1 u2 i have to express this this two as so it will change so express u1 and u2 as linear combination okay linear combination of e1 and e2 now i have to take u1 which is equal to 1 comma 3 I have to write it in form of C1 into now it will change it to E1 plus C2 into E2 so 1 comma 3 is equal to what is C1 C1 will remain as it is E1 is 1 comma 0 plus C2 into E2 is 0 comma 1 so 1 comma 3 is equal to C1 plus 0 C2 correct so no need to write that 0 C2 comma C1 is 0, C2, so C2. Next, I have to express U2 as well as U2 I have to express. U2 is 1 comma 4 which is equal to C1 into E1 plus C2 into E2. So which will be equal to C1 into 1 comma 0 plus C2 into 0 comma 1. You can directly write this part itself. So no need to do this much of steps. You can avoid that. So which will be equal to C1 comma C2. This RHS will remain as it is. Okay, only the LHS changes. 1 comma 4. So from this I can write 1 is equal to C1. Sorry, C1. Ah yeah, 1 equal to C1. 3 is equal to C2. Correct. Then here, from here, C1 is equal to 1 and C2 is equal to 4. Now we have got all the values. Now if you observe, if you try to make the matrix in the matrix form, this is the first case, U1 case. So I have to write in column way 1, 3. This one is 1, 4. Column way you have to write 1, 4. Now when you observe carefully, this is the same as, see observe here, 1, 3, 1, 3. 1 4 1 4 so from this what you can understand what will be the conclusion that whenever you are converting not con converting whenever you are finding the change of basis from e which is nothing but a standard basis from standard basis to any other basis okay from some a standard basis to any other basis then you can directly write the values as 1 3 1 4 directly you can write the matrix 1 3 1 4 in column way but not in case of vice versa as we have discussed before also okay first part we discuss s to e whenever you are finding the change of basis from e to s then you can directly write in this way this will be the change of basis okay this is the conclusion